From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the short story, rain chances going down. That means temperatures going up and the heat indices where they get in that summer sweet spot, which is not so sweet for us. 105, 108, a few spots maybe a little bit hotter. So the National Weather Service has actually issued a heat advisory for those high heat indices. We'll talk more about that. The rain chances going into the weekend, the solar eclipse plus the tropics. So let's get into it and show you what's going on across the Bayou State this evening. And we had a good scattering of showers and storms earlier today. You can see that activity building northward and then moving on, but not as much coverage as yesterday, and that's what we were expecting. And then some trailing high level cirrus clouds that really painted a gorgeous sky. Hopefully you got the chance to see uh, the sunset this evening. It was beautiful. Fair skies now, and that's the way it's going to go for a good part of the night. And the big picture showing some pretty big storms uh, along a dry line axis off to the north and west of us, but shouldn't be affecting us. High pressure ridging getting stronger over the eastern Gulf of Mexico and that's what's edging westward. So that should knock down the rain chances tomorrow. 20 perhaps 30 percent and we'll keep it in the 20 percent range for Friday. But then that high pushes off, flattens out, and the daily dowsings will return as we head into the weekend. As we open it on up into the tropics this time of year, we start watching things a lot more closely. Pretty good looking tropical wave here by Puerto Rico. That is moving to the northwest. Might reach Florida. Don't think it's going to go as far west as the Gulf. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, we don't think that's going to have any impact on our local weather. More disturbances to come. We'll show you that in a bit. But now we have Hurricane. Gert, Gert maxing out with 105 mile per hour winds, but shortly we'll be moving into much colder Atlantic uh, water temperatures. Moving along now, east northeast at 37. Category 2 storm right now with the 105 mile per hour winds, but we'll be heading into the North Atlantic hurricane uh, grave where temperatures, uh, water temperatures are much cooler. So as we go across the rest of the tropics, there's that tropical wave, and then we have three other systems that the the National Hurricane Center is tracking one that's come off the African coast. There's a pretty good chance, a moderate chance of that developing down the road, especially when it gets over here. Then two other uh, tropical disturbances, one that has a 50% chance of developing and the leading one here, a 60% chance of developing. So could we have Harvey? Could we have Irma? Could we have Jose down the line? We'll have to wait and see, but those are the next three names on the line. So as we look at uh, the storm tracks, uh, at least tracking the first two disturbances, it looks like the first one may head toward uh, Central America, perhaps the Southern Gulf of Mexico, but early in the game, got to develop a system before we can track these spaghetti plots. The other one hinting that it may make a turn here by the Bahamas, but way too early to tell, but it is that time of year that we have to track uh, those systems. So as we look at our local forecast, nice and quiet, mostly sunny tomorrow, partly cloudy for the afternoon, just a slight chance of a shower. Temperatures low to mid 90s, but the heat index is going to be the story for tomorrow. By drive time should be quiet, quiet night tomorrow night. A little bit of an outflow comes in for Friday, but that may allow for just a 20% chance of getting wet Friday. Big story as we indicated, the heat indices topping out, getting over 100 by 930 in the morning and staying over 100 till about 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. So if you work outdoors, uh, when we're showing you this graphic, that means take plenty of breaks and hydrate. As for the solar eclipse, uh, if you're going to make the road trip and money's not uh, an object, Idaho Falls will be my best bet, but may be pretty good. Locally for us, the forecast looking a little bit better with pretty good visibility as the eclipse starts. Fair visibility. We're going to be battling the clouds, but right now it looks a little bit better than it did yesterday at this time. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that and I'll be posting those graphics every day on social media with the update 78 the low tonight typical August evening tomorrow 94 the high that heat index up to 105 to 110 so uh, awfully hot out there and we haven't been used to it uh, much this summer so far and as we go into Friday much the same mid 90s this weekend better chance of afternoon storms and right now 30% on your rain chances for Monday and hopefully after 124 in the afternoon. Yeah, hopefully so. Otherwise, we're going to have to plan a trip to Idaho Falls, it yes, sounds like. Yes, exactly right. Thanks, right. Rob. Still ahead here on KATC.